Hi guys. Okay, so in today's lesson we're going to look at the old stage and deposition. Before we go on to the lesson, just uh, the usual, I just remember to check out the website www.examinvision.ie, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter and follow us on Instagram. The old stage. This is the very last stage of the river's journey and in the old stage it's where we get most of the deposition. So deposition mainly just occurs here and because of deposition uh, many features and, land and landforms are created uh, such as an oxbow lakes, levees and deltas. I would recommend you to uh, learn either oxbow lake or the delta okay because there's more information about them than levees but it doesn't really matter which one you do learn. So, an oxbow lake, how does that actually form? Well, it forms because of a meander. And it's basically when a meander forms, and then after a while, the meander's neck is broke off, and an oxbow lake is created. Okay, so what you have here is, you've got this area here, is the oxbow lake, and this is the new river. So, once upon a time, the river actually used to flow here, come all the way around here, all the way around here and then back into the river but instead what it's decided to do was because it's it's got enough energy it's actually decided to just go straight across and actually break off the oxbow lake and this leaves this feature left here which is an oxbow lake I'll talk you through it a little bit more in the next uh... okay so as you can see the river used to flow along here and then we've got the meander What's happening here is the, the neck is getting smaller because you've got the inside, this is the, this is the outside bend of the meander, so that's where a lot of erosion takes place, deposition happens here. Come all the way around here, and again, this is the outside bend where a lot of erosion takes place. So because of erosions take here and here, this neck is getting smaller and smaller. So as you can see here, this neck is starting to get smaller and smaller, and eventually what happens is, the river decides to, instead of going all the way around, to just cut straight through the neck of the meander. And this breaks off this area here, which is the Oxbow Lake. Now you need to know how does this Oxbow Lake form. So that's why I was saying this is a good one to learn. Because if you've learned a meander, well then, this is very, it, this is like just a, the next stage of the meander, okay? So you'd be able to describe a meander, explain what a meander is, draw a meander, and this is then leads into an oxbow lake. So it's it is a meander. Uh, it's a meander that's uh, over time has caused so much erosion at the neck of the river that the neck gets smaller and smaller over time. As you can see in, from here, here, and here. Eventually what happens is maybe through a time of flood or if the river's got more volume or just more velocity, it's able to just erode straight across it and take the shorter route. And this leaves this little lake in here, which is an oxbow lake. Now one thing to remember is that when the river cuts across its cutoff point here, it has very little energy, okay? So what happens is it just deposits all its load, okay? And this deposition, will eventually just seal off both ends of the meander and you'll be left with the oxbow lake. An example of uh, an oxbow lake in Ireland is the old stage of the River Moy in County Mayo. Right, so a little activity for you guys to do again. Um, I'm going to ask you to get your notes out and try to work out the formation of the oxbow lake. So at this point I would like you to pause it now and I will give you the answers when you're back. Okay, so if you haven't already paused it, please do so now because I'll be giving the answers in three seconds. Three, two, one. So the first one is this one here. So in a meander the water is pushed to the outside bend. The second one is greater velocity means the river has more energy to erode. The third one is processes such as corrosion will cause lateral erosion. 
The fourth one is continual erosion of the outside bend narrows the meander's neck. The fifth one is the river floods and takes the shortest route possible, cutting through the neck. The sixth one, the fastest current is now in the center of the channel. The seventh one, deposition occurs along the banks of the river. The eighth one, the meander becomes cut off to leave an oxbow lake. And the ninth one is this one here. The lake will slowly dry up unless rainfall is very high. So I hope you all got them correct. If not, you can make the changes now before we move on. So if you want to know what levees are, levees are these raised banks that happen in the old stage of the river. They happen when you get um, times of flooding. And what happens is the river, the river rises up and it floods onto, out onto the floodplain. Because um, material is going to be in the river, the heavier material is going to be deposited uh, closest to the bank, so right on the edge of the, of the river bank. And what this does is, after the flood has retreated back into the river, it leaves these raised banks along here, and these are called levees. And these actually prevent flooding in the future, because if they're raised up, then it means that the water has to raise up to a higher, le higher level to cause um, a flood next time. Sometimes you can get man-made levees where this might be an area where, where they are prone to flooding and they actually make man-made levees and to raise the banks up to prevent flooding. Like I said, Oxbow Lake is fine to learn for the old stage but some of you may want to learn uh, a delta and that is also perfectly fine. So, what are deltas? Deltas are formed at the mouth of the river, in the old stage of the river. It's a triangular shape, okay, so it's a triangular shape. Piece of land which forms right at the mouth, okay, the mouth is the end point where the river enters the sea or the lake, and what happens is, as the river is coming through its course, it reaches its mouth. And what it does is, because it's got no energy to to carry its load in the morning, it's, it's, it's picked up quite a big load, it has to just deposit its remaining material that it's carrying. This material builds up to form new land, such as here, or here, or here, or here. And the river then is forced to break up into these smaller distributaries. Okay, So it's not a tributary because it's not joining onto the main river, it's just breaking off from the main river, and these are called distributaries.